morning, everybody. <sighs> the last two days, there's been snow on the ground, and it's the end of March. Sometimes Canada sucks. <laughs> I don't want snow in spring, man! Melt! Ah! That was a close call. Hey there, my friends. I hope you're having a beautiful damn day because you deserve it. Ask for damn always, okay? Know that. Remember that. Remind yourself of that every single day. You deserve to have a beautiful day, no matter what that looks like, okay? That could mean chilling in bed, reading a book, having a bomb ass time and that could mean going out hanging out with like 10 friends and honestly i've been addicted to a book recently i've been flying through it i'm not a fast reader so me saying i've been flying flu flu it through it means i've read 130 or 40 pages in the last five or six days i want to say and when i'm reading it i'm not thinking about anything else i am in the book and when you're in the book you know it's a good book but whatever your day looks like make it as beautiful as you possibly can and that could just be reminding yourself that you are alive on this crazy freaking planet with so many mysteries to it in the middle of the universe that your brain cannot comprehend how large it is and that in itself can be a little scary but it also can be very very liberating to be like hey that just means I can live my life the way that I want to and it's not as big of a deal as, as I think it is. It's just me being here, blessed with this thing called life. I'm still on my matcha grind and I don't foresee myself stopping. I'm just adding some lion's mane mushroom to the mix as well. Lion's mane mushroom is super, super good for your brain reconnecting. It's just good for your brain. It helps your brain function a little bit better, you know? been able to tell from all the times that I make morning drinks it is one of my daily rituals that make me happy take some time in the morning to make myself something warm and delicious it is just a wonderful way to start my day my other routine that I do not skimp out on is my nighttime routine I wash my face, I brush my hair, I moisturize, I take out my contacts, obviously, braid my hair. If I do not do that, I feel weird going to bed. And if I do not drink my morning drink, I feel weird starting my day. Also, welcome to my cozy nook. This is the chair that I was talking about in the last vlog. She has arrived. I have not set her up yet because I've kind of been intimidated to do it. We are going to do it together today and I'm very excited because I can't wait for it to actually look like a very professional classy chair in my cozy nook where I'm going to read a lot. I'm going to lay out it like this and do a little bit of this. I can do a little bit of this. I can even go like this, like this, like this. And I'm gonna do a lot of this. If you remember my last apartment, I didn't have any room for a chair like this. So I am ecstatic. So the book I'm reading is called The Surrender Experiment, 
and it's one of those books that's super easy to read because the quote-unquote chapters are very short and by very short I mean only a few pages which is really nice for me sometimes I just want to lay down in bed and only read a few pages of a book to like help me fall asleep so love that but the book is just about this man's life and him literally just accepting everything that comes his way and I'm not even done it and I want to read it again it's honestly really a helpful book to just be like wow why am I fighting all of these stupid things that are happening in my life I just have to accept it surrender to life's flow and allow things to be Sometimes figuring out what I want for breakfast is one of the hardest decisions of the day because I don't have a go-to. I have something different every single day. I never feel like the same thing two days in a row unless I'm feeling really crazy. I have to think of something new every single day and I have to tune into my body and see what the heck I feel like. And today, I am feeling like this chocolate chip protein cookie. I have never made a single serve cookie before. I feel like because I'm on Instagram, everyone on Instagram has made a single serve cookie before. You know what I mean? Like who has not made a single serve cookie before that's on Instagram? I probably don't need a bowl that big if I'm making a single serve cookie. I probably need a bowl this big. One step at a time. Okay. Oat flour. I do not have any oat flour. So, oats and a blender, you have oat flour. My friends, it's that easy. Let's see how it turns out because sometimes you do something that seems very simple and it's just like, well, it's simple and it sucks. So the picture looks absolutely phenomenal, but that person probably made this recipe like eight times to make it look like that, you know what I mean? All right, so fourth cup oat flour, scoop of vanilla protein powder, one fourth teaspoon baking powder, I'm also very weary of recipes that don't require salt. I'm gonna add salt. And one fourth of milk. Um, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I don't see how this is gonna be good. I'm so doubtful right now. And I like to believe that fate and the universe are on my side. But I also think fate and the universe test you sometimes. How thick am I supposed to make this? Okay. It says a tablespoon worth of chocolate chips, but who measures chocolate chips? So exciting. Bland. I feel really funny using a knife and fork to do this. I mean, that wasn't that exciting. That really wasn't exciting at all. All right, see how it tastes. Kind of just tastes like hot protein powder. Without the chocolate chips, this would not be good. I like coats your mouth and sticks to it. All right, so it's time to face my fears and set this puppy up because I'm a strong, independent young woman that knows what she needs to do, which is setting this up. I don't know how to set it up, but I know that I need to set it up. So we're gonna do this. And I'm going to carry this confidence through the entire way of setting this up because it's the only way we're gonna be able to get it done. <laughs> okay, instructions in hand, fast backwards. This is really 
confusing. Oh my goodness, the pages. Nope, it's not confusing. We know what we're doing. We know what we are doing. Let's go for it. Okay, step one, where are you? I got step two and step three. Step one, okay. Lay everything out. We got this. We got this. We know how to do that. We know how to do that one step at a time, one step at a time. Step two. Okay. Oh, these legs are so pretty. Step three. We're flying through this. Step three. Carefully peel back. We're getting a little more technical here. We're moving through this. I am over my head. First one, like one and two, easy. Easy peasy, we got it set up. We are ready to go. Step four. A little more intense. See, the thing is, it wants me to screw. I guess that makes sense. Left must mean looking at it left, not sitting in it left. We're breezing through step four. All right, we're bre we're breezing. We're gonna do this. We got this. One down, three to go. I feel like you can always tighten a bolt like eight times more than you think you can. All right, step freaking five. Let's go. Same thing, step four, other side. We are building a chair. That's what we're doing. We are building a chair. Believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities to build a chair. Cause that's what we're doing. Building a chair. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. <laughs> Keep my book here and my latte. I should get a hanging plant. I think that'd be nice. So your girl's all dressed up with her red lips. My friend Kate is actually coming over to shoot my recipe book cover, which is so damn exciting, but it took me an hour to do my makeup. You know when you put mascara on and no matter what you do, what you do, no matter what, it looks like trash. I spent the most amount of time that I've ever spent in my life on my mascara and it's subpar. It's subpar. <laughs> shoot took so much longer than I thought it was going to between setup, take down, looking through the photos, and then also all the little breaks in between taking the photos when the sun wasn't shining because we needed the sun for like proper lighting. And yeah, by the time we were finished, we're like, 
We need food. We need to chill. <laughs> Anyways, you know what's up. You've already watched the video up until this point. I'm literally just reiterating everything that you just watched two seconds ago. But for me, it's been like hours, you know, because that's life. That's real. That's real life. Which brings me to the topic of just saying that what I share online is such a small aspect of my life and who I am. As I grow and change as a person and as a creator, I'm going to show different sides of myself. One, because I feel differently at different points in the month. And two, getting more comfortable in front of the camera means I'm going to be a little more wacky and weird and strange and have like chaotic days and whatever. That's just life. That's who I am. I'm a super spiritual grounded person, but I'm also a weirdo wacko that loves chaoticness and... I also love to share the real moments in my life too, my real emotions. A lot of the time, creators and just people as well, we get into this groove where we think we have to be this particular person and we have to follow this narrow path because we have labeled ourselves as that. I think labeling ourselves as certain things is a really, really dangerous thing to do because then we feel like we have to kind of condone ourselves or like limit ourselves to only be that thing. Humans are so complex and so diverse, unique, but in one individual. I think why we feel the need to label ourselves in certain ways is because it gives us a sense of self. It gives us a sense of security, which I'm not saying is a good thing. I really don't think it's a good thing. It makes us feel like we're a part of something but we are a part of something no matter what our label is. We are part of this whole community that is the world. And sometimes we feel like, oh, there's so many different parts of the world and there's so many different cultures and religions and thought processes and all of these things, which is very true. But at the same time, we are home wherever we are on this planet and you are connected to everything and everyone, no matter how much you may not feel that or how much you try to separate yourself from certain people because they don't think like you. I challenge you guys to open your mindset to understand that somebody's thought processes are because of their unique experiences in this life. It may not mean that they are entirely sane thought processes and they could be very dangerous thought processes but at the same time judging them and pushing them aside and separating them from you is also a dangerous thought process we have to communicate with each other understand each other and just try to connect on some sort of level because they are a part of you as you are a part of them I've never had a problem doing anything by myself or living my life doing things by myself or going anywhere without anybody. I've actually preferred it. Life is so precious. 